We're going to try to harness the, the power from the sun in Vuperian fashion, which means it's probably going to be extremely inefficient. Uh, keep in mind, you should not try anything you see here in the real world. Thank you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to make it's not gonna work like a solar panel because we can't actually. Well, there is a particle that directly turns uh, <laughs> photons into electricity, but that's cheating. We're gonna harness the heat energy of the sun. It's gonna be fantastic. How are we going to? simulate the sun we're, we're just gonna get a big bundle of clone here and we're just gonna have photons fly off of it i honestly think that's our best bet ready here is the sun okay so oh 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 do you see how well that compresses it down to go into one direction that's beautiful can i speed it up by no it's gotta go Go through the hole. Okay, so that got it actually pretty concentrated, but I would argue we did pass half of the screen. So if we're gonna do this, it needs to be a bit larger. It, it needs to. Okay, so we have a point here where we actually get a massive, massive amount of collected. Fo oh, I did not mean to do that. Right. So we got our sunlight, which is spread out, and then we're gonna focus it all on this point here. And this is the actual point at which we need to heat something up with the energy from this light. And we're actually sending it back, that's kind of funny, we're bouncing it back. But this pebble here is hitting 800 degrees Celsius. We may actually melt the titanium at this rate. So we have all of this light now converging on this one spot, which is pretty great. You know, I wonder if we could get all of the light to hit one spot. Maybe I'm going a little bit crazy. Maybe I'm going a little bit insane. Okay, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. We're gonna we're gonna have fun here. All right, we're gonna have fun. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a sun, and I'm going to try to get literally everything out of it. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna make this a solar scale project. Now we're making a freaking Dyson sphere. Uh, you know, I'll admit it, we didn't get all of them, but I think this is enough. I think this is enough photons to make me happy. And then all we have to do is get some heat pipes, right? Let's go ahead and get some heat pipes. Actually, we'll just do one at Thickum's heat pipe in the center. That comes down. Fantastic. And then this heat pipe is going to have to heat something. That's why it's called a heat pipe. All right, so first off, I screwed up. This should not be touching this directly. That will cause us a world of pain. So let's not do that. Do that. Because we don't want that ceramic to get hot, because that would be bad. All right, now what we do is we fill this with water. The Wator will turn into stem, and then we get that, and using a well-placed fan, we get some flow going. And now we have movement, and you know what movement means, movement is energy. Fun fact, we'll actually put some more fans just to get it moving a little bit faster. There we go. Very nice. We've got some good movement. Very good movement. I'm very proud. So this loop of steam to water going around in a circle will allow us to go ahead and get a detector. Which we can throw right here. And here. We'll go ahead and get a conductor. And then we should be able to pull from that. Um, I think. What what is what is going on here? Why is it not working? Okay, something went wrong. Why is the detector not not 
There's definitely something going by you, Mr. Detector. <laughs> This is odd. Uh, what did I do wrong? Clearly I did something wrong. Huh. No, oh, seriously, what did I do wrong? Why are you not... Oh, now you are. Oh, I see a little bit of an electric charge here. I wonder if I just put... 18... Oh. Why isn't conductor working? Huh. That's odd. I don't know why conductor isn't working. We'll just replace it with iron, I guess. Great, that gave us a spark for a single moment. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Fan fantastic much better all right everything is looking pretty good oh jeez yeah when you go to the fancy display that really does look fancy doesn't it it's like the northern lights over there <laughs> uh beautiful Fantastic, very nice. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Hmm. All right, back to the nothing display. So we are creating energy, uh, which is what we set out to do. Now you may be saying, Spike, there is a way more. Of oh shoot. This is an issue. We uh, hit the point where the ceramic is over 100 degrees, so the water never cools down. Yeah, that's something I was afraid was going to happen, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick solution. Why do you always use water? Water is just a convenient thing to use to make generators. The reason we use water to push steam in real life, it's just mm, the melting and the, the temperatures for water are quite convenient, be it the cooling down and condensing, or the heating up and turning to steam. This works well. Alright. That's looking a little bit bad. The water is getting a little bit too hot. Bad again? It shouldn't be bad again. What do you mean bad bit rating? The... It shouldn't be able to change itself. No, it's it's at 20,000 now, and it is actually sending 20,000. If it's being dumb now, it's YouTube, it's not me, and I don't think there's much I can do about it. No, it actually, it looks fine on my end. I can see it, it looks fine. Is the solar collector in space or on the ground? Um... Like, the pixels. Yeah, there's not much I can do about... Oh, it's all the rainbow particles. Yeah, we may actually be maxing out the uh, YouTube's bitrate ability. Um... <laughs> Unfortunately... Is this better? <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the, the snow slash confetti... Snow slash confetti ex effect... Hmm. Very interesting. No, it's a video compression problem. It's not even a YouTube problem. Alright, so as it stands, we did actually make... A pretty effective heat collector when it comes to photons. I mean, the question is, would this work in like a real sunlight situation and not just like, I mean, as you can see, we have this kind of box. Let's go ahead and try it in a real sunlight situation. Go ahead and pull this out and we will grab, we'll grab a big line of clone, right? And we'll 
grab a big line of photons. And here is our sunlight. So as you can see, we are collecting quite a bit. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're still holding up the temperature at 915. As it stands, we are collecting the temp. Uh, hmm. No, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Interestingly, because we're using kind of a parabolic curve here, we send two beautiful streams out that you can see really well, and actually we kind of focus it in the center as well, which is to be expected. That's to be expected. We definitely are getting the movement, and we're getting the water to go around. I think we need to add a little bit more water to get this to work properly, so I'm going to do that. I think if we have a little bit more pressure, we can get it to more easily push against this cold plate and cycle. Maybe not. Might be dumb. Well, no, I certainly am dumb, but the idea may not be dumb. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, there we go. There we go. That that did it. Now she really be moving. Very nice. Oh, the ceramic temperature's at 200. Holy guacamole. Hmm. When your skin combusts from the sunlight. Yeah. I mean, I can almost guarantee you that someone has made a far better solar panel. Here's one right here. It takes energy from photons and transforms it into electricity. It probably just uses the, uh... Ooh, ooh. I'm almost certain it uses the, oh, it uses liquid crystal spark blue to take and black to store. Uses photon. Okay, turn the panel on. Let's see how this bad boy works. Okay, it, it's on, I guess. And then uh, we hit it with photons. It kind of seems like it's not stopping, even when the photons stop. Mm hmm. Herm. I do have a few issues with these solar panels. Um, what, one of my issues is... It looks like you could potentially melt it using the sun. Um, although I think it is probably a little bit overkill to hit it with this amount of photons. This is like being on the surface of the sun. No, it's, it's holding up. It's holding up even against the abuse. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. <sighs> turn the panel on. I did turn the panel on. Oh, I have to spark it to take energy out, don't I? Spark blue to take. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking energy out. Since I'm now taking energy out, is it actually going to stop at some point, or is it just going to continue generating infinite power, which I don't like? I can't- I can't tell if the amount of charged particles in it are decreasing. Uh, do I have a display that would help me out? Probably not. Nope. Nope. Hmm. No, I, I think it's just infinite energy now. Just needed a few photons. <laughs> ah, what have I done? What have I done? Let's see. Oh, Earth's magnetic field.
Well, that's kind of interesting. That's very interesting. I like it. Very, very high quality. Very high quality work. A new planet? A new planet? Ooh. Ooh. Omega Protocol. What does that mean? What if I spr- Oops. Well, today we all learned something, which is if you put a button in front of me, I will hit the button and completely disregard any potential consequences for hitting that button. Fun- fun facts. <laughs> fun facts with Spike. Hmm. Now we got- we got con some cool stuff. I quit. Oh. This is so sad. Play Despacito. Engine exhausts. Gotta add ion engine. Okay. Earthen crust. Hmm, I feel like we could use that in the future for something. 